All right, what's up everybody? Just wanted to uh, give you guys some updates and talk about some holiday strategy. And, um, and so here's the format. I'm gonna, it's kind of like you just came over my house and, uh, and then I'm just kind of talking with you. So it's not like I have every slide perfectly, you know, positioned and stuff. I've got three different slide decks from different views. I'm gonna pull up some things, show you guys some videos, show you guys some things and all that. But I think what I wanna do is I wanna start uh, I want to start with a uh, with a video. Hold on one second. I want to start with a video here. Da, 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 da. Let me blow this thing up. Now, obviously, when you play videos, uh, actually, here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to turn off my camera and turn off everybody's camera. Okay, let's turn off. Hey, guys, if you have a camera on, if you can hit your camera off. Okay, let's, uh, I don't know how to turn your camera off everybody, but if we can get everybody's camera off, turn your, or put your finger over your camera, that would be awesome. I'm going to turn my camera off over here too. All right. So once again, guys, the, the format here is like, is like you came over my house and I'm updating you on what's happening. Okay. So it's not going to be all perfectly smooth here, but I want to, I want to show you this, this first, uh, kind of next generation dream trips video that uh, one of our uh, VPs of Rovia in Europe, George Alameda has put together. So check this out. Let me make sure I get the audio on here, right? Okay. Booyah. I love it. I love it. I love it. And uh, we'll get that. We'll get that video out to a, a player near you. I'm not sure exactly uh, how we're supposed to be releasing these things and different things like that, but that's uh, pretty exciting stuff. But um, guys, I just coming off of Florence. Um, I was there and uh, in, in Florence, obviously after Vegas and just a lot of excitement there. And we just opened up France as you guys have seen on the emails, maybe on social media, uh, lots of excitement over there. And, um, and guys, we're back. And I, I, I do have to share this with you. This is crazy. The Call to Succeed team, okay, which is the largest team in the company, all right? Not because of me. It's because of all the leadership and you guys and everybody working their butt off. Uh, we, we brought on, this is new members this past week that just finished last night, okay? Uh, this is our biggest week in a long, long time, okay? Close to 15 thousand new members came on board in the call to succeed team uh, this past seven days. So crazy nuts. I mean, it was just, we're back guys. We're back. Things are rocking. And um, you know, the, the, the company is better than the company is better than ever. And things are, uh, things are getting even better. So let me jump over here to some slides. And, uh, and by the way, let me, let me, let me plug this real quick. Let me plug this real quick. Today at uh, 12 Central, let me share my screen. Where's my screen at? Hold on. Hold on. Where'd it go? Okay, here we go. Share my screen. Boom. Okay, you guys can see that. Dave Uloa, IMD. At 12 o'clock Central Standard Time today, guys, uh, Dave Uloa is doing a getting started training. And, uh, you know, I, I really respect this guy. I've known him since the very beginning. You know, LAPD officer. Um, they've, you know, 
the guy is just one of the pillars of this company. And uh, he's, he's, I would say, one of the best tactical trainers in the entire company uh, and also in the industry of network marketing. And obviously, he's, uh, you know, he was platinum partners with Tony Robbins and all kinds of stuff. Anyways, he's doing a fast start training at 12 Central, okay? So he's going to really get into the basic nuts and bolts of getting started. And it's a great refresher for those of you that maybe you're not doing getting started trainings or you want to see another one or you just kind of want to see you know what you're doing to get someone started and what he's doing and is it kind of line up i would probably say it's pretty similar but the key thing is his perspective and the nuances of the things that we say and why we say them when we get someone started to get them focused on um you know getting started fast and things like that so that's going to be just look at the information take a screenshot take a picture of that Okay, the Zoom ID there. I'll give you guys a couple more seconds and then you guys can, uh, I'm gonna take that off the screen. All right, if somebody wants to take that information and put it in the chat here, that would be cool. Um, anybody wanna jump in there and do that? That would be awesome. Make sure you put the correct uh, Zoom ID there, okay? Okay, cool. All right, so, So I would have been, uh, so I was with Wayne the last few days. Well, I was with Wayne in Florence and I was with Wayne just the last couple of days. I had a big prospect fly in and um, I want to share this with you. This is really important. You know, there's a book out there called Blue Ocean Strategy. It talks about how, you know, in certain markets, in certain industries, you have a red ocean, which is a lot of competition, blood in the water, sharks, all that kind of stuff. That's red ocean. Then you have blue ocean, which is, you literally create your own ocean. You have no competition and it is a blue ocean. It is beautiful, right? And what's interesting is when you look at the travel industry and the companies that are out there, excuse me, the Expedias, the Travelocities, the Booking.coms and stuff, they don't know how to do what we do. They don't want to do what we do because that's all they know how to do is what they do, Okay. Then you have, and, and Wayne just shared this with me, he was at the CEO summit with all the, the top network marketing companies. It's not the total 100. It's, it's the top 100 is the top direct sales 100, but then it's the, it's the few that get invited to the CEO summit. So Wayne's hanging out with all the other CEOs of these other you know, multi-billion dollar network marketing companies. And the funny thing is, is that they're all over here talking about you know, products and shipping and all these different things and nothing wrong with that, but we're still sitting over here 13 years later in a blue ocean, people have tried to enter the travel space um, to get eaten by the, the megadalone shark or something. I don't know, but they're not there. Okay, we're still here. And it's really, really powerful um, that, uh, that what we're doing, so other network marketing companies don't know how to do what we do, okay? Not let alone travel, let alone the event system and all the kind of you know, the marquesetta and the systems and all our trainers and all of that. So you've got the industry that doesn't know how to do what we do. Then you have the network marketing industry that they just they're just kind of doing what they know how to do, right? And so that leaves us right here, you know. And they're just it's crazy. And so, but interestingly enough, the direct sales industry as a whole has gone down just a little bit. Okay, and you, knew, you know why one of the main reasons why it's gone down? It's because Amazon. Amazon is like the giant megadalone shark. If you don't know what a megadalone, megadalone shark is, go Google that word. It's like megadalone shark, okay? There's a movie out called Mega. That's, it's the big shark, right? It's the uh, prehistoric giant. It's bigger than a great white kind of thing, right? Well, that is the shark that's going into the red ocean and everybody's ocean and just gobbling up stuff because people that are in product oriented um, companies, what's happening is they're having to buy product to get certain qualifications and those product ends up on Amazon because they're trying to sell it or on eBay. And what's happening is somebody that's, uh, yeah, it's pretty funny. Um, and so somebody that's, you know, bought a $75 skincare deal, they're now trying to sell it for 30 bucks to get rid of it on Amazon. So then you, they can't, you try to go sell something like that if you're in the skincare, skincare business. And they're like, dude, I can get that on Amazon for 35 bucks. And so what's happening is Amazon's coming out with the new nutrition line. I mean, it's like, you know, Google has airfare. That's cool, but we're not in the airfare business. And so what's happening is when you look at, and let me, let me um, pull up one of the slides here. Give me one second. 
when uh let's see here that the one no i was going to show a list of something else let me do this once again we're just hanging out in my house right now and i'm showing you guys stuff okay here we go give me one second Okay. Boom, there we go, right? Okay, so let's get the list out. I thought that was my list, sorry, hold on. I got a list over here. Where'd it go? Here we go, boom. Okay, so we got dream, dream trips, which are, and once again, guys, this is kind of a review for some of you new people and then a refresher and all of that, but dream trips are specific trips to specific locations all around the world. Last year we did over five, 6,000. We have one dream trip leaving every 90 minutes, okay? And then you've got dream breaks, which are mini dream trips that don't have all the, all the, the frills and they don't have a host, but they're even less expensive. Then you have anytime escapes, which in the travel industry, you'd call them an FIT, okay? And that's just whenever you wanna go, or call it a one-off, okay? And so you can go anytime escapes, and we're ramping those up even more. And, uh, and so those are whenever you wanna go, and a lot of those are with resorts we already do dream trips with. So we're leveraging the volume and all that, right? And then we have low-cost carriers. So when you get into like Asia, or you get into Europe, or you're flying around the US, you know, you got the big airlines, but then you get your smaller airlines that you, you do the short hops that are very inexpensive. It was funny, I just saw the other day, on a screenshot, we, we, op we, we sold out the Barcelona momentum for in, in March for Europe, all the Europeans in like a day and a half. It sold out. And people were, were booking their airfare on the new Dream Trips Rewards platform and they had airfare for like 64 bucks. Now I know that you know Europe is similar to the United States where you're just flying two states over or whatever, but still 64 bucks, right? Those low cost carriers are very inexpensive. Uh, and then we have our Dream Trips Reward platform. Okay, now Asia just got the newest platform. Europe just got the newest platform again. And guess what? In the US, um, we don't have the newest platform. Okay, it's awesome, but it's gonna get even better than what we see right now. And that's gonna be coming at Momentum at the end of January. And so things are just getting better and better and better. And uh, it's really exciting. So I wanna show you guys some more examples of some new Dream Trips. And, but I want to go back to this slide deck that I was about to show you is how do you compare uh, a dream trip? Okay, this was George Alameda's put this together. Finally, this is the kind of breakdown you want to see. And this is huge. All right, check this out. All right, now we don't call it booking.com, we call it looking.com, if you know what I mean. All right, so dream trip cost. This is a uh, celebrate New Year's in Berlin, Germany. All right. The dream trip costs seven ninety eight per room. Okay, looking.com costs six twenty two per room. Hey, dream trips is one hundred and seventy six dollars more expensive. Well, let's let's break that down because here's what happens: your prospects they go, oh, they go look and they see some other website that's cheaper. What they don't, they don't understand is the reason why we have a job, so to speak. The reason why we have an opportunity is because it takes explaining. Okay. If a company wants to get a new product into the marketplace that needs explaining, they do, they use network marketing. Okay. We are changing the travel industry. We're changing the way that people travel. So you have, we have to educate people. People aren't just going to understand and know. So we have to educate them. So this is part of that right here. All right. So dreamtrips.com welcome reception, 15 bucks, Berlin private tour with lunch, 187 platinum city circle pass, 52 bucks. Farewell dinner at the Berlin TV Tower. That is an awesome place, 158 bucks. Tourist tax included, your dream trip host, 24 hour attention and service. All right, so that's dream trips right there. All right, so then you got looking.com. You've got breakfast if you pay an extra 132. You see, this is already gobbling up the 176, right? You got soundproofing, lucky neighbors. It's kind of funny. Free Wi-Fi, nice. Okay, heating. Now there's something of essence here. Cleaning products. Oh wow, my wife's gonna love this is inclusion. Shower. I'm a lucky guy. Okay, toilet. Much needed with all the bratwurst we'll be eating and toilet and linen. I'm seriously blessed. Toilet paper that completes a New Year's experience in Berlin. All right, 
These are like, of course these things come with it. Duh, we have all that too. But I'm just showing you the, the, the breakdown that is very different from any other website that's out there because they're just booking a room. Okay. And so that's that there. And so after points, the dream trip is 664. Okay. Then you have all those other things included, which are way better than what you would want to do. Somebody drawing on my screen somehow. I don't know how that happened, but uh, maybe you can undraw that. I don't know. Looking is 1166. If you're adding those things up. All right. Pretty awesome. Savings 43%. All right. Let's look at another one real quick here, guys. Let me uh, see if I can erase the screen. I don't know what happened here. Let me, uh, give me one second. We got people drawing and stuff. Let's see here. Okay. Let's clear, clear all drawings. All right. Okay. All right. So here's indulge culinary delights in Hungary. Dream trip costs two ninety eight a person. Looking costs two forty five per room. I'll say okay, two ninety eight per room, two forty five per room. All right. So dream trips is fifty three dollars more expensive, right? All right. Well, let's break this down. Welcome reception and drinks and snacks twenty bucks. Two dinners cost of eighty. Okay, we've already changed that there, right? We've already surpassed the the savings. Hungarian culinary tasting and entertainment and unlimited drinks sixty bucks. Twenty percent discount at the spa. Complimentary use of hotels, wellness, and fitness center. Complimentary use of hotels, games. Access to children's playground. Your dream trip hosts 24-hour attention and service. All right? That's dream trips. Now, looking.com. Private bathroom, of course. Okay, air conditioning, duh. Wi-Fi, okay, TV and telephone. Okay, these are just the basic things that they have on the site. It's like, okay, great. That's the, that, that, that's the uh, okay, wake up service. Okay, look, 254 after dream trip points. 405 on looking.com savings at 37%. Okay. So these are two examples that are there here, guys. And so I will, uh, I'll get these slides. I'll, uh, what I'll do is I'll post them in, uh, to, to my leaders in the WhatsApp group and they can get, I'll drop box these two slides to you guys to make sure you have these comparisons. Cause I think these are really, really good, um, to do that. I, I don't know if I'm not sure if I would use these on a presentation, maybe, it's really detailed because in a presentation, you just want to show the savings, right? But this is definitely maybe like, you know, a, a new member training, um, part of a getting started training, get to know your product type thing, um, or really soon after they get started, right? Okay, so there's that. All right, so let me see what other video that I had downloaded here for you guys. All right, so we have a new Dream Trip site that's, that's, uh, that they're working on, and it's going to be released in Q1. Okay, quarter one, which is any time in the first three months of the year, um, definitely by the spring. But I want to show you the stuff that they're working on. Okay, and so uh, just hang tight here. I'm gonna hit the video. Based on your feedback, we are rolling out in the upcoming weeks and months some additional improvements to dreamtrips.com to make it easier to select and book a trip. First, we've updated the overall creative design on the homepage and made the top navigation more prominent so it's easier for you to select the product category you're interested in. The new photo carousel will allow you to see Dream Trips photos or watch a video that lets you see in greater detail what you can expect when you go on a fabulous Dream Trips vacation. The search bar is simpler to use. Select where you want to go. Specify what type of trip you want to see, the date range you're interested in, and number of travelers. Then, just select search. The featured trips that match your search appear in the large window with up to six featured choices. Below the large window, more choices based on the activity types that you selected. Each activity type appear in a row. And each row contains four deals with the ability to scroll and see more. The new vertical display makes it easy to read and find the trip location, dates, and pricing. Note that the number of Dream Trips reward points that can be applied for each trip are found in the upper right-hand corner of the window. We all know that Dream Trips are one-of-a-kind experiences, but looking at other members' photos from their trips gives you a sense of what you can expect to see and do at each location. When you select View Trip, 
you're taken to the hotel details page. This page features a large photo carousel and a full photo gallery, customer reviews, and the ability for you to add this resort to your favorites list. Below the photo gallery, you'll receive in-depth information about the resort, all neatly organized by topic, along with the pricing summary. Pricing will be in your local currency and will include the price with or without point utilization. To book your trip, simply click on the orange button and bon voyage. All right, all right, cool. So that's what we got there, guys. New stuff happening everywhere. And so now what I want to do is, is share a little bit about some holiday strategy with you. And uh, yeah, nice, very nice, yes. Um, the other thing too is I know that there's there's always a handful of people that you come in contact with that have traveled a lot and they're used to high end resorts and basically five you know five star all the time the Four Seasons the Ritz that kind of stuff. So there's a really thick book called the best of the best or the best hotels in the world, and um, that's put out by Virtuoso and um, and if you did not know this, uh, Rovia is that's us okay is a virtuoso agency. And what that means is we've, got, we've gone through a lot of uh, stringent processes and, and, and checks and balances and all these different things to get approved. And when you look at the top of the top of the top of a certification of travel agencies in the world, it's virtuoso, that's the brand, that's, the, that's what they've created. And, and um, so we're now a virtuoso agency. We released that, I think it happened last year. Um, but what's, what does that mean for you? Well, um, we're working on the data feed right now. Once again, it's going to be uh, in the early part of 2019, but literally every luxury hotel in the world, the best hotels in the world, we're going to get net rates on them. Okay. So right now uh, I'm just letting you know that, that when you're talking to people and they're like, Hey, I, I, I like high end stuff or whatever. So yeah, we've got that at net prices. And just so you know what net prices are, uh, that's the lowest negotiated price as well as there's no commission in there at all. Okay. And then we like to, and then what happens is especially through virtual. So they like to add certain goodies in there, like throw a breakfast in at these luxury resorts and these luxury resorts, a breakfast will easily be 65 to $75 at these resorts. Okay. Cause they have a massive buffet and all kinds of stuff like that. Right. Um, and so we have access to that. All right. So if you want to know what these hotels look like and you just want to, um, just kind of peruse some of those. It's virtuoso.com. Uh, I'm not sure exactly how it's spelled. Just, just do an audio search, you know, just go, Hey, look up virtuoso, you know, on your, on your Google app or your Siri on your phone or whatever. And you'll see it, go to the site, look around there. We have access to those things, guys. So I'll give you more updates uh, with that as I get some from Jim Minge. Okay. Our, our president of Rovia. Uh, okay. Something else here. So let's talk a little bit about the strategy on, on the holidays. Now, I know this is mainly for the U.S. right now because we've got Thanksgiving coming up next week. And by the way, if I don't get a chance to talk to you guys, happy Thanksgiving, you guys in the U.S. Uh, very grateful for you guys. And uh, it's a great time um, of the year, right? Uh, however, Thanksgiving is one day, okay? Uh, Christmas is one day. And I know that uh, those of you that are watching internationally, we have different holidays and things like that. Uh, but oh, thanks, Joshua. Appreciate it. Virtuoso.com right there in the chat. Perfect. Perfect. Okay. Oh, by the way, don't call Virtuoso. Don't contact them and say, Hey, I'm a World Ventures member. They don't, it's not about that. We're, they certified us. It's not like they're just, they just work for us, right? We're developing a data feed. Okay. To where when we, we can book online through our booking engines and, and book that product, the data feed isn't ready yet. Okay. But we're trying, to, we're, we're trying to figure out what is the way that we could do that. I'm just letting you know that's the stuff that we've got uh, that we're working on to be available. All right, just wanted to say that disclaimer there. Okay, um, now I lost my spot. What was I talking about? Um, Thanksgiving, Thanksgiving holidays. Okay, so bottom line is this. The general thing is, yeah, thanks, Stacy. She's like, Thanksgiving. Okay. Okay, we're going to be around friends and family. For those, you know, for those of you that may have a small family, you might be going over to a friend's house at their, their Thanksgiving, right? Or those of you that have a big family, you're going to have people coming over to your house, okay? And bottom line, whether um, this is holidays or parties or whatever, it's, it's back to basics. It's 101. It's, you know, how to win friends and influence people. In order to be interesting, you've got to be interested in people. 
you got to be curious. You got to have that childlike curiosity. Like when somebody says, you know, they want to, they want to school and study this, say, Oh, that's great. Well, tell me what, like if they said they were a medical student, well, what, I mean, were you studying to be a nurse or a doctor or this or that? Like be inquisitive. Don't just say cool. Like, like ask questions, not in an interrogative, you know, where were you on the 15th kind of police inter you know, detective kind of way, but just you're asking questions like, Oh really? We'll tell you more about that and just have conversations. What's going to happen if you lose yourself and just, just focus on the, the person you're talking to, what's going to happen because we've been trained guys to listen for their needs, strengths, and goals. Okay. And they're, and when somebody is talking about their job and they're just like, yeah, you know, and this and yeah, and yeah. Well, obviously their body language and their tonality means they're not really happy. Okay. But you don't just jump on them right there and be like, Hey, if I got an opportunity for you, just say, oh, okay, well, you know, tell me more about this or what would you change about that? You're almost kind of like, you know, you're like Oprah Winfrey, you know, you're like, or Montel back in the day, you're like interviewing, you know, and it's just like, you're just asking questions and what, what people will do is they will share exactly. Okay. Um, okay, cool. Lifetime travelers. I don't know who lifetime travelers is. I think is that, I don't know who that is. It says sign up one last night. Just like that. Okay, cool. Yeah. So, um, so you're just having conversations and what will happen is people will reveal what they're not happy with. Um, you know, they want more time with certain people. They want to, they want to travel more or different things like that. Now, when people say they want to travel more, don't just jump on them and start pitching them on the travel thing. Okay. Thanksgiving or, or parties or holiday parties in general are times to connect and to really find some commonality and really kind of focus on them. Okay. But what you can do is you can plant a seed, you know, maybe towards the end of the party, or if you kind of feel like you're going to move to a different part of the, to the room and you might not see them again, cause they might, they might, you know, leave. You might say, Hey, listen, you know, I our, earlier in our conversation, you had mentioned this. I, I think I might have an idea that might help you. I'm not really sure. Let's exchange information. We'll connect this week or we'll connect, you know, you know what, it, that's, that's what you do. It's like you just plant the seed and you set the hook and because you referred to the conversation that you had with them and you pick out something specific they were talking about. And so that makes it, it's like irresistible catnip, right? Or irresistible cheesecake if you love cheesecake, right? Right, Nadine? Okay. Um, my dessert lovers out there. I'm like, hey, you know what? I love flan. Megan and I love flan. Like every time we eat at a Tex-Mex restaurant or a Mexican restaurant, we're always trying the flan, man. She says, she says no more cheesecake. Until after the dream trip or what? Okay. Um, so it's, it's connection, 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 connection. And, and my biggest mistake, guys, for many, many years, because so, I was so focused on my wallet and trying to make money. Number one, I was anxious. I felt like kind of uneasy. And I was just like, you know, if you were like, you know that, um, oh, what's the movie? Jeez. The movie Ice Age, you know that little that little guy that that's that's going after the nut. He's all like, <laughs> I mean, like, that's how I felt inside, right? I felt like that inside. It's like, when do I talk to him? Whatever. Versus just like chilling out and being myself and just being me. And all I'm saying, guys, is this holiday season. Don't even act like you're in World Ventures. You're like the coolest person in the world. You are, you know, you're making everybody feel so important with the big sign around their neck saying, "I'm the." They're the most important person in the world. So you treat them that way. Okay. And a matter of fact, I was just at this place, uh, this sports supplement store. And I walked in there and met this guy and dude had people skills. At, I mean, off the charts. And I asked him how long he was working there. He's like, I've been working here for eight years. I'm like, what? Like, do you own the place? He's like, nah, you know, he starts laughing, but the guy had people skills. We exchanged numbers right? And as soon as I left there, I sent him a picture of Megan and I saying, hey, it was great meeting you. So when I meet people within 30 minutes, I make sure and I text them a picture of me and my family or me and Megan, especially if it's a woman. Like if I talk to a woman, I want to make sure she knows I'm not trying to hit on her. It's like, hey, it was just a business conversation, right? And I text a picture of her, if, of my family. It's like, hey, it was great meeting you, blah, 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 blah. And so they have a picture with the name, 
right? And a lot of us, you know, a simple text is like a digital thank you card, right? And so I think it's important that we do that, especially those of you that don't carry around business cards. And if you do carry on business cards, you don't have your picture on them. That's the worst thing, right? So you've got to connect on social as soon as you can. You know, for me, it's, it's obviously Instagram and Facebook because, you know, with Instagram, you know, you have stories. And if you don't know what stories are, don't worry about it right now. But what's cool about stories is your stories are little, little snips, little pictures and snippets of your day, if you, whatever you choose to post. And I, I've actually post a lot more when I'm traveling. But what happens if you can connect so socially real quickly is they start, they, they go, they're kind of inquisitive. They want to know who you are. So they go to your Facebook page and start to creep your Facebook page. They go to your Instagram, they'll scroll. People are curious. You know, if you built some rapport, they kind of want to know who you are, if they, you know, want to associate with you or not. So when they start looking at your stuff, you either going to win them over or you're not. Okay. So you really got to be thinking about what are you posting as far as fun, freedom, fulfillment, right? Having fun, positive things, you traveling, things like that. And by the way, when you take a bunch of pictures on a vacation, don't post them all at once. I would post like three of them. Okay. Or a couple of them and, and take the pictures in different shirts in different locations in the resort. Why? Because you could spread those pictures across the next three, four months. Okay. And they don't know, they don't know where you're, if you're on vacation again or not or whatever, because you're in a different spot, different shirt on whatever. I'm not saying lie. I'm saying you're taking different pictures and don't, don't, you know, we go fire hosing with a million pictures. All right. And so when I'm on a trip, I don't post every, I, matter of fact, when I'm on a trip, I post maybe one or two times because you're taking more pictures and doing more things on a trip. And so you want to post them all. Don't do that. Just post a handful, like literally a couple of them and then enjoy your vacation. Okay. Enjoy it. Take video, take pictures, but you don't have to post it. I mean, here's a rule. Uh, you, everything that you take a picture of, you don't have to post. <laughs> okay. Every video you take, you don't have to post it. Okay. And so it's just funny that people have that attached in their brain that they have to do that. You don't, you know, you can just have pictures for memories, right? You can have pictures or videos for memories that you can just, you know, do on a family highlight reel or something later on. You don't have to put it online because it could be borderline risque or borderline, you know, whatever. I don't know. Um, since I know I'm getting, I'm, I'm kind of staying in the same vein though, but the other thing that is a killer to your business is by, is talking about politics type stuff or really highly charged topics right now. I wouldn't do that. I just wouldn't do it. And I know that we have, we have free speech and we can say whatever we want to say, but just remember too, that you're an ambassador for world ventures. Now it's, you're not just a person in a silo by yourself on your own planet. <laughs> okay. You are connected to me. You are connected to your team. What you do reflects on your team. What you do re reflects on the company that you represent, especially, you know, your job as well. I mean, there's people that lose their jobs because of something they post on social media. So it's a real thing now. You know, I know that, you know, it is, it's, it's digital, but guess what? The digital world is the world now too right? And we have to really take it, we have to think about that before we post these kind of things. So back to the holidays too. Um, it's a chance to connect guys. You know, we text a lot, you know, what people's birthdays and holidays and Christmas and Thanksgivings. And so, Hey, send a bunch of grateful texts to people, you know, Hey man, so grateful. Hey, happy Thanksgiving. So grateful. You're in my life as a friend, things like that. Now, if you're texting someone you haven't talked to in a year, you kind of want to tone it down, be a little bit more like happy Thanksgiving with a little Thanksgiving picture or whatever. If they reply back, Hey, what's up? You know, then you can kind of engage in them, but don't give like a heartfelt gratitude Thanksgiving message to somebody who's like, uh, that was kind of too much, you know, <laughs> you know, just kind of gauge that. Right. So, uh, there's obviously a smaller circle of people you give the meaningful, grateful text to, and then, Hey, do the happy Thanksgiving text to as many people as you want, because it's, it's just, it's just a line out, right? You're doing all these little fishing lines out. You're just saying happy Thanksgiving. Cool. And whoever replies back, they're replying back for a reason. They're like, Oh, Hey, they see your name and they're like, Hey, what's up? Happy Thanksgiving to you too. You know, how's it going? Whatever. Right. And you can, and, but if you don't reach out and you don't say anything, they're not going to just automatically just text you happy Thanksgiving. You got to reach out to them. It's funny. Sometimes, um, I'll get a message from, uh, from someone, uh, you know, a year ago, you know, and that's someone that I, I didn't really know and they didn't really know me, but we, we, we exchanged text about, you know, a year ago. And so it's like, Oh man, I forgot about that person. Cause texts get moved down all the way down in your phone 
way, 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 way down until you don't see it anymore. And so these are just little things that I do, especially during the holiday season that just it kind of, you know, you're kind of reaching out to people and it's easy to do social media and say happy Thanksgiving and post it on or happy holidays or whatever you're doing and just post it on social media. That's cool. But if you're individually texting people, okay, and giving them a personal text, that, that carries a lot more weight. And those of you that you don't mind doing a few videos here and there, I would do some videos in Facebook Messenger or WhatsApp or texting and actually say their name in a quick little video. Hey, you know, hey, you know, it's like, hey, Rob, it's Jefferson. What's up, guys? You know, hope you're having a great Thanksgiving. You know, see you guys what, you know, later next week, something like that. You, you could do things like that. You just have to block time to do that. And whatever amount you do is fine. Okay, I'm not telling you to spend 18 hours filming videos, you know, and taking five takes to film one video. Don't listen, do what you can do, right? But do more than you did last year, do more than you did the day before. So you can really, um, you know, the other thing too is this is New Year's is coming up, right? We only have basically six weeks left in the year, six weeks. 2018 is about to like be gone, like the year has just disappeared, right? So people, they're thinking this, they might not be talking about it, but you can bring it up during conversations during the holidays is, hey, you know, you know, I've been thinking about, you can either start with yourself. You can say, you know, I've been thinking about, you know, really taking 2019 to the next level for me. And like, I, I really, you know, set some goals to make more money and do some stuff. Hey, what do you like? What, is there anything you're doing differently next year than you did this year? And just wait. And they'll be like, no, no, I'd like to make more money. And you have that New Year's conversation. What are you going to do different next year? Right? And, you, and that opens up a whole space for a conversation of making more money, doing something different, things like that. And that's where you could say, hey, let's get together and let's talk about a plan. I'm working on a plan right now. Let's get together. I don't know if what I'm doing will, will work for you or not, but it's something that I'm going to take a huge shot at and uh, for, for 2019 because you know, here's, you know, do little three step set up, talk about, Hey, uh, you know, we've been working, me and my wife have been working this many hours a week. I'm just making this up by the way, this many hours a week, you know, we don't get a chance to see the kids that much. We've only taken a vacation like two years ago. So we want some things to change in 2019. So that, that's why we're going to be doing some different things, you know? And so you share what's happening. You, sh you share your vulnerability of what 2018 was and what you want to change about it and going into 2019. And so what's going to happen is uh, they're going to start thinking about their 2019, okay? And these are, there's no right way to have these conversations. Just have the conversation, all right? Some people are like, well, what do I say? And how do I just be a normal person? Act like you're not in World Ventures and just have normal conversations. And I'm telling you, people will, will, will reveal to you something that's not working in their life. And so all World Ventures is, all we're doing with this gift is we are giving them a gift to fulfill some sort of a need. The need to have more fun, the need to have more fulfillment, the need to have more freedom or money, okay? Uh, you know, for, for the students that are, you know, age, ages 18 to 26, you know, I'm telling you, if you're, if you're, if you're parents on here and your, your son or daughter is in World Ventures with us as a student, um, you know, I'm speaking as a, as a father, uh, to my sons, I would love for my kids to be in this. Why? They're going to get exposed to other leaders that are not me because sometimes, you know, they get used to their parents, right? Uh, people that are just a few years ahead of them that are crushing it, they can learn from different perspectives, communication skills, leadership skills, customer service skills, right? Presentation skills, speaking skills, right? All these kinds of things they're going to learn as my kids in this business, right? This business can prepare you for life, right? I mean, when, when you go in and, and, you, and you build a team and you travel around the world, I mean, just think about the kind of resume a student could have. They've been to 15 countries, right? They've done volunteerism trips, building schools. They've learned at the feet of millionaires, right? They've done this, they've done that. I mean, that's a heck of a resume for students that join a company like this. And so for those of you that are talking to uh, young adults, you know, ages 18 to 26, you need to talk about, you need to talk about that. Like what would it, you, you're asking them this, Hey, what would it do for your resume? If you had all these things on your resume, you know, leadership, leadership skills, and then reference, you know, 
me, best-selling author, Jefferson Santos, Higher Life Design, Matt Morris, uh, The Unemployed Millionaire, Johnny Wimbry from The Hood of Doing Good. We're all best-selling authors. We're all published authors on the internet with our social media channels. So you, they can reference that they're learning, right? You know, Kim Campbell, best-selling author, Inner Peace, Outer Abundance. You know, Kim and Rob Campbell, multi, you know, multi-billion in real estate, you know, I mean, for decades, right? So it's, it's these kinds of things that, that are really powerful that, that are our strong points, right? And then you got Mark Cassetta too. I mean, just watch, show the video. I mean, the recap videos of what we have. So that's a strong resume for, for, for kids. I say kids, young adults, sorry. Because uh, still, I'm still a kid too. I like to go buy toys. It's really for me, but I get them for my sons and I play with them too. So um, it's pretty fun. So hopefully this, this uh, kind of fireside chat, you know, update, you know, a holiday strategy has helped you guys a little bit. I am going to uh, click on the chat here. Yeah, okay, somebody's posting pictures from the Philippines three months ago, good job. Okay, exactly, okay, I hear that. What do you access all your contacts for your, what do you do to use all, access all your contacts with texting? Okay, well I use my phone. This is just a regular, like, when I'm texting, I'm just talking about my regular context and my regular phone. I'm just doing one by one, that kind of stuff, you know. Um, okay, big help, very cool. Yes, I'm just I'm just kind of scanning through here for some other questions that you guys. Oh, tres le tres leches, heck yeah, man, I'm down for that. Okay, virtuoso. I'm just scrolling through the chats here, making sure I got everything. Okay, yes, Stacy posted the the Wikipedia Mega Delone link there. Okay, cool. So I'm going to wrap up with a couple things here, guys. And uh, we've got how many days left? 17? No. Hold on. I'm counting right now. Hold on. We've got next week was a week of Thanksgiving and then another week, and then we have regionals, guys. Okay? Let me pull up the web. Okay? For you new, new people up here that you don't know where to go to get to – get, uh, nope, nope. I'm trying to get this thing to move out of my way. There we go. Okay, so I'm going to click over to regional. So if you go to WV Event Reg, WV Event Reg.com, okay, it pulls up all the events. Okay, and this is this is like you need to say this in your favorites on your uh, on your on your computer and in your phone, and you need to see what's happening on the events all across the world. Why? Because don't just think in your backyard. You know someone that knows someone in Singapore. You know someone that knows someone in Atlanta or Boston or Chicago or Columbia, South Carolina or Dallas, Texas or Dayton, Ohio, Denver, Colorado, Detroit, Honolulu, Hawaii, Kingston, Jamaica, LA, Memphis, Tennessee, Milwaukee, Wisconsin, Minneapolis, New York, Newark, New Jersey. I'll be in New York, New York, New Jersey, uh, training over there. We got Omaha in the house, Phoenix, San Antonio, San Jose, Seattle, St. Louis, Washington, D.C., West Palm Beach, Florida, Wichita, Kansas. Okay, we got Bucharest, Romania coming up. So all these places, we have two trainers that we fly out to train you. And these trainings are like 40 bucks, okay? And uh, so that's December 1st. And so if you want to have a great 2019, you got to finish 2018 strong. So you got to book your ticket and don't go alone. You need to bring people to the events. And here's what I do too, is my maybes, the people that haven't said yes, but they haven't said no, I get them to the regional trainings because our culture is trumps everything. Culture eats everything for lunch. Okay. So when you want to expose people to our, uh, to our company and our product and our opportunity, our trainings are amazing. Our trainings are fun, okay? So December 1st is coming up, so we need to get all your maybes together, find out, hey, what are you doing on December 1st? Oh, I don't know, what's up? Say, listen, I want you to be my guest. I know, I know you're still doing research. I know you haven't made a decision, but trust me on this one. Just come with me to this training. I want you to meet some of the top people in the company, be a fly on the wall, and I want you to see how we train our people and just, uh, and just enjoy that you know, and come with us. And if they don't wanna go to a training, for 40 bucks, guess what that says to you? Don't spend that much time with them anymore, if not any time with them, okay? I use the trainings as a filter, okay? Just like we filter people from suspects to prospects to in the business, now when they're in the business, that doesn't mean they're just gonna explode and build. Now that they're in the business, what are, they, what are we asking them to do now? Well, the next filter is, 
let's get them to events, okay? Are they going to invest in themselves? Do they believe enough in everything in themselves to invest in themselves to go to the training? Sometimes we have to sell them on that a little bit because they don't understand. They think the training is like they're training at their job and it's going to be boring. No, our trainings are awesome. And the people that are doing the trainings are making tens of thousand dollars a month. And I think that if you enroll into this business as a representative, I think you enroll not to fail, you enroll to succeed, right? Well, I think it would make sense for you to learn from the most successful people in the business, right? Well, guess what? The next training is until the end of January. So guess when the next training is? December 1st, okay? So make sure you plug into the regionals there. And then at the end of January is our big event of the year. It's called Momentum, okay? And uh, we've got... Uh, double IMD, Johnny Wimbry, million dollar ring earner, quadruple IMD, Troy Brown, million dollar ring earner. We got David Peach, double IMD, million dollar ring earner. Travis just top 20. Gary Cowan, I think he's top 20 or right there is an IMD. Jenny Braun and IMD uh, top 20 and also myself. And so we're going to bring the heat. So what you, so right now it's really, really simple. We build through the holidays. You plant seeds. You're going to meet a lot of new people. I've brought some of my biggest leaders in through the holidays, okay? Because guess what? Your competition, I'm gonna go, I'm gonna take off the share button here. Your competition, what I mean, a competition, other teams in World Ventures, other people in network marketing, guess what they're doing? They're in straight up holiday mode. They are chilling for six weeks. They're not doing jack squat, okay? They're chilling because they worked hard all year. Guess what? We all worked hard all year. Okay, but the champions, the winners, the one that want to take 2019 to the next level, you got to press in a little bit. Enjoy. Listen, we have to understand to enjoy. I, I'm, I'm going gonna, I'm go, I'm gonna to enjoy Thanksgiving. Of course I am, right? But I'm hedging myself to where I've got stuff leading up to Thanksgiving and I got stuff on Friday lined up right after Thanksgiving. And of course, I'm going to be, you know, sending some texts and all that stuff during Thanksgiving. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to maximize that, right? But come New Year's, I'm going to have so many people in the pipeline Okay, I'm gonna have new people to work with myself. And if I'm doing it, guys, like I don't have to work anymore, but I want, I get to do this. I don't have to do this, I get to do this. And one, one thing that's really cool, now you guys have heard this quote before, is life doesn't happen to you, it happens for you, right? But I'll take it one step further, and life, life also happens through you. And what I mean by that, and specifically for network marketing, is we get to impact, like, you know, God of the universe, whoever you believe, I believe in God, he impacts through us, guys, through this amazing business. And we're able to share something with people that can help them, like literally help them change their life. And, and so I don't take that lightly. And so, you know, I'm not ever going to stop this. Uh, it's funny, Wayne and I were traveling to Florence, and we're literally getting people's phone numbers because we, we like to go into stores and shop and window shop and shop and all kinds of stuff. So we're talking to the people that work at the place at the airport. And, uh, and this lady owned two different businesses. Uh, she, she loves traveling, all this kind of stuff. We got her information. I sent her the, the two minute sizzle message, all kinds of stuff. And so we got her in the pipeline. Right. And so these are really, and we're open in Germany right? Because we were stopping through Frankfurt, Germany when we, when we met that person. So we're always doing it. I'm seeing Wayne, the founder of our company. He's getting people's phone numbers still. It's in his blood. That's what he does. Why? Because he believes so much in this, right? So if you believe in this, keep on talking to people, okay? But you don't have to have it on your brain. You can just talk to people just for talk, talking to them and listening to what, what's going on in their life. I know I'm repeating myself a little bit, but sometimes we need to hear things multiple times to really get it. I know I did. Man, I had to learn. I had to hear the same thing probably for almost 10 years straight until I got it through my thick skull and I started to turn the corner in my business many years back. You know, And so for those of us, these are great reminders. And so guys, so in two hours, 12 o'clock Central Standard Time, we got Dave Uloa doing the fast start training. Um, go scroll back in the chat. Um, actually let's do this. I'll post it up one more time real quick right here. Where did we go? Hold on. Is this the picture? Yeah, here we go. I'm going to share the picture one more time guys. So you guys could see. There we go. 
There it is, guys. Take a screenshot of that deal in two hours from now. So here's what I would do. Um, text, message, WhatsApp, whatever your people. Uh, get them on this getting started. I would definitely get on, I would say, even seven minutes early, okay, because it's probably going to be sold out. It's going to be packed out. I think these webinar rooms, some of them hold 300 to 500, maybe 1,000. I'm not sure. Uh, and because we have multiple teams pushing their teams to, to Dave's fast start training, I think it's going to be packed out. So you're going to be uh, left out in the cold if you don't get in there, I would say, even 10 minutes early. Just, hey, turn on your Zoom. You know, if you're on your phone, make sure your phone's plugged into some charging mechanism, right? And just wait, okay? And uh, get the good stuff, guys. And so, guys, let's have an amazing holiday season. Um, I, and once again, happy Thanksgiving for those of you that are in the U.S., uh, happy holidays for, the you, for those of you around the world. And I look forward to seeing you guys up in New Jersey for the regionals. And um, we'll be doing more of these webinars as well, guys. And, oh, by the way, we have a new Call to Succeed app that's being built right now that'll be done uh, probably right after the regionals. Um, got a lot of new stuff that'll be on there. And also, I'm going to ask for your help. I'm going to ask for, you know, testimo video testimonies, stories on the product, stories on your World Venture Success story, things like that, that we're going to have logs and things in the app that where all of us can, can leverage each other's stories uh, for social proof and things like that, document scripts, all that kind of stuff are going to be on there. But hey, we still have a lot of stuff on call to succeed.com. Uh, it's a mini mobile website right now. It used to be an app, moved it to a website. Now it's going to be back on an app. It's going to be really cool here in a couple of weeks. But guys, uh, let's rock and roll. It's going to be an amazing time. This is record breaking history again and there's no other company like us so let's go out and be proud of it let's rock and roll i'll see you guys later take care and god bless